Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans. Today I'm going to be talking about this which is the Doctor Who Vortex Manipulator and here it is in its box looking absolutely wonderful. So as always we'll start talking about that. I can see the old Doctor Who logo across the top here uh, it's really just five and up. Nice little sort of red and orange and yellow background here uh, indicating the time vortex. Nice little blue one uh, to counterpoint it on the inside here too which is quite cool. Uh, Sonic screwdriver with blue LED is included. There it is there as you can see. Looks really cool. Uh, down here, a picture of David Tennant as the 10th Doctor brandishing a screwdriver. And uh, over here, nice little picture of Captain Jack and his little vortex manipulator there too. Uh, vortex manipulator with blue LED and protective cover. A uh, nice little photo of it there open with a little blue LED shining. And Vortex Manipulator and Sonic Screwdriver written down the bottom. And nice little character options logo just down there at the bottom corner. Uh, not really going to be missing much on the sides or the top or the back. The underneath, believe it or not, actually has the instructions written on it. Despite the fact it comes with an instruction leaflet inside. So that's kind of a little bit pointless. Uh, around the back here, pretty much the same garb as before. Uh, nice little TARDIS at the back here. As you can see it is blue. Uh, the entire background here. Uh, nice little picture of the sonic screwdriver uh, with the tip lining up and again uh, the vortex manipulator in action. Uh, the usual guard down the bottom, character options etc etc and the nice little Doctor Who seal of approval down at the bottom. But as per usual that's enough of it in its box, let's crack it open and take a look at it out of its box. Okay, now that's the packaging out of the way, let's take a look at the actual product. So uh, here we go, here is the Vortex Manipulator, and I have to say it is detailed incredibly well. Now it is made out of plastic, but uh, it really does have a great little sort of crinkle touch there that makes it look leather, which is just absolutely brilliant, that's great. The buckle, unfortunately, at the top here is plastic, and uh, from I've had a few of these now, and from what I can tell, the actual silver wears off very easily. So uh, that's quite a shame, but uh, the actual uh, strap here, again, detailed phenomenally well. This is removable, so uh, if this does break, perhaps you can actually uh, swap it out for a new one. And uh, the nice little buckle in there too, it, it just looks really great. And this just uh, threads in under here and back through here again. Uh, the actual cover, uh, again, just looks really great. You've got these nice little buttons uh, four of them there, and they just they just look so good. Um, again, I'm just I'm actually thrown by how great the detail on this is. I mean, you can even see there, like the actual leather stitching uh, has been molded onto this just expertly. So that really is great, and on both sides too. Uh, there is two little buttons at the bottom here, so when you pop these open, this opens up the vortex manipulator, and you get a good look at the actual inside of it. Uh, the interior of this uh, has been coloured a sort of weird yellowy tan colour uh, in keeping with the show and it just it looks excellent. Uh, the detail again on the actual vortex manipulator part uh, of the actual strap just it just looks excellent. Uh, there's a nice little speaker grill down here, some arrow buttons here, three buttons across the top and uh, a little sort of section down here at the bottom too. Uh, whenever you pr press uh, one of these buttons as you can see here, uh, there's a little light sort of light up, and unfortunately, that's all it does. Which is just such a shame, because, again, I know I've said the same thing countless times in the past minute, but the detail is phenomenal, and what stops this from being one of the best Doctor Who toys ever released has to be the massive letdown that is the actual function of it. So literally press one button and these two blue lights light up. Now that is a shame because there's two other buttons here and this is big enough to incorporate a sound chip so it would have been really nice if you could actually press it and uh, hear perhaps a noise or something um, of maybe some vortex travel. But the fact that that doesn't happen is just such a shame. Now, uh, of course, this toy is designed for kids, but, um, of course, adults can buy this as well, perhaps as part of a cosplay set. Uh, I'm quite a big guy, and I've got quite big wrists, so as you can see, that literally just about fits uh, my wrist, so uh, that's kind of unfortunate. So this is pretty much designed for kids, and, uh, of course, because of the size of it as well, this little button here is prone to popping up just because it's stretched around my wrist. So uh, for cosplayers, yeah, I suppose you could wear this, but... Uh, I suppose it really is just pretty much designed to be a kid's toy.
And of course in the set you also get this, which is a lovely little sonic screwdriver. Uh, it is smaller than the actual toy sonic screwdriver. It doesn't slide up or down and um, it doesn't make any noise again, which is unfortunate, just like the uh, Vortex manipulator. But it does have a very powerful torch, as you can see here, at the end of it. And that's really bright. I don't know if that camera really picks that up during the daytime. But uh, during the night, it really is excellent. And this is a blue LED at the end of this too, which is really cool, uh, as opposed to the purple one that you see in most of the uh, toy Sonic screwdrivers. The detail on it is pretty excellent as well. You can see the kind of little cracked porcelain detail on the handle there too. It's nice and silver as well. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, the detail is absolutely unbelievable. It's just mind-blowing that character options can produce something as well detailed as this. Uh, the fact that you get this little Sonic Screwdriver torch as well is just an added bonus, really, and the detail on it is marvellous too. The massive letdown is definitely the lack of sound effects because this could have done so much more and had so much potential behind it, but the fact that they didn't use it is just unbelievable. And it almost kind of feels lazy in a way because, like, they started off so well, the detail is amazing, and then they gave us this, which is just such a shame. I mean, like, this could have been maybe transformed or used somehow. For example, maybe you could put a digital watch into it or something, or, I don't know, at the most, an FM radio. But definitely, at the least, some sound effects would have been wonderful. Uh, so, yeah, again, that is such a shame. And uh, a massive letdown. The box is fantastic. The detail on it is excellent. And uh, definitely this is a collector's item if you can get your hands on it. Um, let me just see here. I wonder what would happen if I pushed all three of these buttons at the same time. What? Oh, for God's sake. Great, I'm going to have to go out and buy another one now. That's excellent. <sighs> well... Thanks very much for watching this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's kind of some more reviews online. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.